This is Russia and this is World Cup 2018. So much has been said about the tournament being held in this country and most people don't know what to expect. The mark of a great tournament is its ability to bring fans from all around the globe together and celebrate why we love this game so much. Let's make some magic and let the World Cup speak for itself. Seems yeah. like the most supported group so far yeah. or one of the teams we've seen so far. Have you, have you experienced the same? There are 40,000 Mexicans here. When you found out it was going to be Russia, when you when Mexico had qualified or at any point in the process, did you did you think maybe I shouldn't go? Is this the right place? Were you confused about what to expect here and the people, or or were you dead set on on, on coming no matter what? Well, if I'm being honest, uh, yeah, I hesitated a little bit. You know? This is Walk Talk Football, the show where we talk about everything that's on your mind. And today we have a very special guest who needs no extra introduction, Patrick Vieira. So let's walk. All right, so first off, as a manager, what do you look for in a young player? What's the hardest part going from playing to, to coaching now? What's the hardest <laughs> part of the transition? The hardest part. I like it. Thank I you so much. I don't know if I that No, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> guys, that's all we have for this episode. Thank you, Thank Patrick, you. for joining us. Get down in the comments, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. It is game day. Mexico City, you have been amazing, but for today, out of respect, I have to hate you guys. And it's okay if you hate me too. And now, it's time to support this team as a proud ass American. Look at this, you want dedication? This guy's literally, while the bus is moving, climbing to the top of the bus to celebrate. You got people riding motorcycles with one hand on the motorcycle, the other one waving flags around. This is literally the peak of dedication. There's a reason why these guys are regarded as one of the, 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 the greatest groups in all of football. So here we are at the Velodrome, right at the half line of this storied stadium, built in 1937, obviously upgraded since then. The roof came in for the Euros in 2016. It's the highest roof in all of Europe, but over my shoulder, this is where a lot of the action happens. Just 11,000 people will be going nuts here. On the other side, you have about 9,000 with other supporter groups also joined in. You have the VIP sections off to the sides and family sections, but they said it's not like a traditional stadium and there's no quiet spots. The people are on their feet. They're going crazy. If you're going to be in the stadium, the expectation is that you're going to put out the same energy for your team as what they're putting out for you on the pitch. The delicate infrastructure of the city that just keeps getting pounded and pounded by the elements. The water levels are rising and things are changing. We're in this old historic stadium where I'm starting to get that feeling where I kind of want to play again, you know, after speaking to the fans here in the area and feeling the passion and the pride they have for this club, for their city, it makes you just want to be part of it. And you can start to see exactly why they're getting everybody to buy into this super ambitious project. here today. This means everything to them and that's why they're out here supporting, lighting off flares, lighting off bombs. It's going to be crazy and it's just getting started. So far in the stadium, this is by far one of the best. This is only half of what their local groups are. You have a whole other side of the stadium that's going crazy right now. You just took an uh, NFL game, right? <coughs> yeah. This weekend with the Jets. What was that like? Have you been to NFL games before? I've, I've never been, no. No, no this is my first time. Did you understand the rules or anything? Uh, not really, but I kind of understood what they're doing. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys coming Thank on. Thanks, Thanks for much. having us. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, Thanks that is it. Me. Thank you to these Chelsea legends. Make sure you guys get down in the comments. Let us know uh, what you think about all things from today as well as the upcoming or the rest of the season in the Premier League. See you.